Hello folks, it's Matt from Giraffe Audio. I'm Giraffe Audio's NI Ambassador. This is our fourth video, taking a look at the uh, complete control software and some of the new features that are available in the 1.5 update. So we've talked about the uh, scale and the ARP in the last video. Uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about the, um, the new touch strip um, control functions. So here we are in complete control. I've chosen touch strip from the menus at the top here and we've got two choices we've got pitch and we've got modulation so if we take a look, look at the pitch it's a real simple um, setup really it's here it is pitch and the strength of the pitch itself so it's kind of like how how strong the um, the, uh, the, uh, the spring is on if it was a wheel um, it kind of allow, allows you to set that strength uh, over on the right hand side we've got touch control and we've got two functions one is absolute and one is relative absolute makes the pitch wheel behave um, very similar to um, a normal pitch wheel would um, sorry the touch strip behave a lot like a pitch wheel um, so when when you use the uh, uh, the pitch strip when you re remove your finger it will go back to um, the center value. If, if we change it to relative, wherever we put down our finger, that's where um, the the parameter will start from. So it's kind of like if you don't want to look exactly where you're putting your finger down onto the touch strip, you use relative mode and you can get fine control uh, just straight away without being too concerned about where you put your finger on the touch strip. Okay, so that's pretty much pitch. Not a lot to talk about there. Um, I will say about both touch strips, though, I'm massively, imp massively impressed with them. Um, I was kind of sceptical before actually getting my hands on with the keyboards, and I'm thinking, well, you know, we've had pitch wheels for, for a long time now. There, there must be a reason why we why we use them and no one's come up with a better idea so far and of course in 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 the past there's been uh, synths and and controllers that have used uh, touch strips and i've never been a huge fan of it it's not really been that sensitive it's not really worked that well the options weren't really there i have to say uh, ni seem to have nailed it uh with these touch strips uh, i i actually prefer them to a regular pitch and mod wheel so uh, yeah that, that that's uh, quite something Okay, so let's take a look at mod. And there we go. Okay, so in the modulation, we've got quite a few bits and pieces that we can go through. We've got uh, the standard mode, which is a bit, a little bit like um, a fader. So we can kind of just push it up and pull it back down and it, it works from the bottom. Uh, we can change it from a bar display, so it kind of lights up. So it's kind of like LEDs that light, light up the more you push it up, or we can set it as a dot, and it's just one dot which will move around the touch strip. Moving on from the standard mode, we've got spring. So spring kind of makes it function like a pitch wheel would. So if you kind of move it with your finger, then release your finger, it will spring back to the center position. Um, again, we've got bar or dot. And we've got strength, just like on, on the pitch touch strip, we've got strength of how fast it snaps back to the set center of the starting position. Uh, okay, so moving on from spring, we've got ball. Ball's quite cool. Um, I, I really quite, quite like it. Basically, if you think of the mod parameter as a bouncing ball, um, you can set the friction the ball will bounce and also the amount of gravity it will bounce with with you know no gravity at all it will just keep keep bouncing uh, we've got we can switch the walls on and the walls off uh, and also the display again uh, we've got a bar and dot okay let's get for the next mode tempo it kind of sinks to the right over here so again, we, we can use the friction and gravity to say how, how long the effect or the, the, the touch movement we've done on the touch strip will work for and also how it will, what kind of speed 
it will move at. So a little bit like an LFO, uh, which is quite cool. You won't see that with a standard uh, mod wheel, but uh, yeah, with these touch strips, you can do all these crazy things, uh, which I really like. Um, for performance, absolutely fantastic. Then we got Stepped. Stepped is um, possibly one of my favorite modes. You can choose the divisions from two to five, and then it allows you to touch the touch strip in whatever divisions you've put it in to hop between states of parameters. Um, I really like this mode. It really um, allows for some creative use, um, live performance. Uh, you know, it's really, really good. Um, so that's it, really. Uh, it's just great that you can get to these parameters within the software now. Uh, you could get to all this stuff um, actually on the hardware, but they've, they've changed it now. It's all accessible through the actual complete control software. Uh, so that's it. Um, so we've gone through the whole of the actual nuts and bolts of complete control. Uh, if you'd like to see some more vids about complete control, please do leave questions in the comments below. Uh, please say if you'd like to see certain stuff and I'll try and get a video up. Um, but for now, that's it. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.